Next, I want to say that there's really only one rule to getting your sound right. And everything else comes from this one simple rule. And that one simple rule is never hit the zero. Never let your sound peak and, and overmodulate. Because if you do, it'll cause distortion and noise. And even if you don't hear any noise while you are recording or while you're mixing, you, you, know, you see it peak a little bit, but you don't worry about it, that peak can cause distortion when you convert the file into make it for a DVD or to convert it to put it onto the internet or anytime you convert the file, anything where there's some distortion is going to be data that's going to potentially corrupt not just the instant where the, where the peak occurred, but could also f affect the surrounding area. And so that simple concept of never let the audio touch that zero mark is pretty critical. And to that point, you have to understand that sound adds up. So the level of your dialogue track is going to be added to the level of any sound effects. And here I've got some ambience and then music. All of those sound clips are adding up. And when you play them, the, the cumulative sound is what's going to affect that meter over here. And so if you get things that are getting very close to that big peak up there, you see we're getting very close over here to hitting zero. That's a potential danger zone. You want to be very careful about never letting anything get close to there. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about what levels you should set your target things to. Uh, but just that simple idea of never let anything hit zero is a really important idea. It helps you understand how to work going forward. And to that point, a, a nice rule of thumb is to attenuate the things you don't want rather than boosting the things you do want. And what I mean by that is rather than turning up the dialogue because it's too quiet, potentially you want to turn down the sound effects or the music or the other elements in that particular clip. And that way your overall mix will remain equal and the relative levels will be correct and you're not going to ever run in the danger of overmodulating or getting too close to zero. Another little general guideline, and something that I think it's a little sacrilegious to talk about, but I think it's very important, and that is you should hire a specialist. If you're doing a professional project, if you're trying to do something to achieve the highest level of quality, don't expect that you should be able to perform the same level of mixing that a specialist will. It takes a different kind of brain to master audio editing than it does to be a picture editor. So if you're a Final Cut Pro editor right now and you think, oh, the tool can do it, so I should be able to master these things, it's true, but there's not a reason that you have to be the one to do it. Just because the software can do that stuff doesn't mean that you have to be the operator. That being said, now there are a lot of things that you can do, and that's what we're going to focus on in this particular tutorial, focusing on the easier things that you can do that are going to make a big bang for the buck. You'll get a lot of improved quality with a minimum amount of work. Um, and, but, but save that work for the specialist. If you go to the movies, watch the credits at the end. Look at all of the people whose job it is just to improve the audio. I mean, there's a dialogue editor and a re-recording mixer and a uh, you know, sound effects editor, a Foley recordist, an ADR recordist. I mean, there's literally 15 or 20 people that are full-time workers full time just to get the sound right for that feature film. And they're working for a month or two at a time to get these projects right. Don't expect that you're going to be able to do that. Just like we don't expect that everybody in the world should be good at both being a, a brain surgeon and a airplane pilot and uh, you know whatever other jobs an accountant or all the different tasks that humans are good at one person does not need to be good at all those things and such is the same with video post production a great storyteller a great picture editor may not be the best person to be the sound mixer and vice versa